continue to cruise. And they just continued what we saw in the first half. And look, you know, they had such confidence going into halftime, and they kept that emotion on their side. They came out here in the second half, and what they do, they added to their lead. The Bengals setting up here for the kickoff. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 30. Brought down near the 35. The Browns hope to get things going here. They have been anything but productive here in quite some time. Three consecutive drives that have led to nowhere. Well, let's give a lot of credit to the defensive side, especially the defensive line. They are absolutely taken into the offense. They are beating them up. And when the defensive line is winning the battles like this, it's all about the defense. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. And he's intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Loss of a couple that time. The Bengals have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down. Don't get conservative. Keep it going. Try to score points and just dominate the other team. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Browns defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Halfway through the third quarter. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Third long coming up. You're losing by a couple scores. You're on the defensive side. You must know the offense is not going to take a chance. So be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover. The Browns set at the line. Dime package. Dalton will take it from the gun. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Pulls it in. Picks up eight here. Well, I love seeing plays like this, a fake punt when you throw the football and it doesn't work. Hey, it's easy to do these things in practice, but when you got to do it in the game, you can feel the pressure, you get tight, and sometimes you just cannot execute the play. Carlos Dunlap ready for the start of this next series, and it's been an outstanding day for that unit, and he's been the one leading the charge as usual. Yeah, it's really interesting watching play. He's just such an imposing physical guy and he leads the way out there just by hitting people and taking charge of that defense. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Should have had it. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. It's a two tight end formation his man gains 16 all you can do is your job and that was a good job by the offense picking up the first down you're down big in the second half hey don't worry about the score right now just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown first and goal 
the run it off the toss. Johnson's all over the ball carrier. Oh my gosh, it is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Drop back, shotgun formation. Can't hold on here as this goes incomplete. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Takes it from the gun. Hartline can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. The coach is going to go for it. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. It's intercepted! They throw a pick here, Phil, and they'll be very pleased that we're nearing the final quarter so they can get this one over. You know, sometimes when you're losing like this and you're playing so bad, you, you just feel like you can't get the game over with. It's, it's amazing how it just keeps dragging on and... Man, this has been a bad day, and it, like you said, Jim, it just continues. Now at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, in stride, and he's home for the touchdown. This game is really out of hand now. Still just the third quarter, but I think we're close to being able to put this one in the books. Oh, yeah, get that O.W. column and put a slash underneath it because they have won the game, and they deserve to win, Jim, with their... Their enthusiasm, the emotion they have shown, and playing such solid football. Gilbert's going to test the coverage here. And he fails to get out to the 20, and he is smacked down at the 15-yard line. The Browns just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better. That's an interception. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. You're talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting their.